Hello, everybody. I've got this little dog staring at me and she's not doing anything. Oh, I don't think that this, is this live yet? Did I do this right? Do I know how to work YouTube? I know I'm early. Oh, we are live. Well, hello. What's up, you guys? Cool. For a second, I was like, um, how come no one's talking to me? <laughs> Why am I alone here? What are you guys up to? What are you guys doing? Hi. Hello. I don't know about y'all, but I have a cocktail tonight. I'm drinking a ranch water. Also, Shabbat, I got your message on Patreon. Thank you for saying that. I will be more aware. Man, you're right, you guys. It is uh, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. What are you guys going to do? This is my green. This is the only green thing I think I have. I guess wherever I go, I'll have to take this straw. Thank you, guys. You know, I really like these lives because they're so comfortable and I don't have to wear makeup. So I appreciate you guys coming on in. Mm. I've been uh, cutting footage. I've been cutting some footage together from my comedy shows to post for you guys on Patreon. Um, I, I think that they are pretty good. I'm going to show you the clips and let you tell me what you think. Here we go. Are you ready? Also, my dog has a bone in her mouth right now. And what she's doing, in case you're wondering, is she's wondering where to hide it. Because she's a Yorkie. And that's what Yorkies do. I don't know if all dogs do that. But she's like a tiny little psychopath. So she has a bone. And that, that's she thinks she's going to hide it from me in a pillow. And in a moment, I'm going to find it. I'm going to discover where it is. And you're going to see this dog freak out. Because she thinks... She's so smart that I don't know where she's about to put this bone, but she's such a tiny little idiot and her brain is the size of a peanut and we're going to find it in just a moment as soon as she gets done. You'll see her. She'll pop her head up and she'll like look around and she'll look at me and stop and stare to like see if I saw her. Oh, I wish look at she she's burying it. Look at this idiot. She thinks she's buried the bone. She thinks that she has taken it and like, like buried this bone in a pillow. She didn't bury the bone. Anyway, here's, here's one of my stand-up comedy. This is one of my new jokes that I did uh, last week. Hold on. Let me turn the brightness down so you can see it. Volume up, brightness down. Okay, here we go. Hold on, I'm so bad at this. All right. I'm dating someone new now. He owns a barbecue restaurant. And you know how they say like everyone has their own love language? It's so true. Because every time he tries to give me a compliment, it's like some weird metaphor for high-end meat. <laughs> He comes up to me and he's like, damn, baby, you're like a prime Wagyu steak. Rare, expensive, and sometimes bloody, but it don't affect the taste. That's one clip. And then here's my other one. Hold on. I'm dating someone. Ah! I don't even know how to do this. I've been thinking about being a mom lately. I think that the answer for me is like freezing my eggs, but then I don't know, like, then it's like having a sci-fi baby. 
You know, like, are they going to come out and be, like, cool or, like, super chill? <laughs> I don't know. It's, like, weird. Like, thinking about freezing your eggs. Because I'm also, like, this weird person that, like, I'm terrified to give my saliva to a 23 and me. But I'm totally fine putting my eggs in a refrigerator in Pflugerville for 10 years. <laughs> no problem. Like, also don't fuck with the COVID vaccine, but I'll snort any white powder given to me. <laughs> I think. Like, I also, I think that the biggest upside in freezing your eggs is it's like, you get to pick the gender. But then I think about it and I'm like, what if I get a trans kid? Because like on one hand, I want to be loving and compassionate and supportive. But then like on the other hand, I'm like, but I paid extra for a girl. <laughs> I think that the truth is that I just, I don't want to really have a girl because my luck, I'd get a mini me and I don't want to raise a hoe. <laughs> so those are my stand-up clips uh, that I edited together today. And um, I never post my stand up because I try to get people to come out to shows. And it's like, if you want to see my stand up, come out to a show. But maybe I should like promote my stand up a little bit more. And maybe that'll help people come out. So I edited that today. And then uh, I have Jeff Dye coming out on Tuesday on my podcast. So. You're going to get to see him on the show. And he was really funny. Uh, they sent me his little promo. It's not my favorite. Like, I feel like they didn't. He had so many funny moments. And the promo that they sent me was like, okay. So I asked for more. So I would share that with you. But I don't, like, love it. Um, and then on Monday, I only have one guest. And it's going to be Jim Norton and his trans wife, Nikki. And they are both going to come on. And we're going to talk about his relationship. So apparently he's been married to her for years. And when he came on my show first this year, last year, uh, he didn't tell anyone that he was in a relationship. I thought he was single. So uh, this is like all brand new news. And then on top of that, his wife is trans. So I have lots of questions um, that I don't even know if like are okay to ask. <laughs> like, And I tried to like sort of slip in a few questions. Like I was like, is there anything that like I can't say or like any kind of like protective boundaries around this conversation that like I shouldn't say? And I guess he's been on tons of podcasts and he's said, he's like, I've talked about everything. Um, but I still, I guess I need to like Google what's appropriate to ask a trans couple. <laughs> it's hard. It's sure made um, to get up there and like do it for the first time. But I think that once you did it, if you liked it, you could do it again. So anyway. Um, Jim Norton and Nikki Horton are coming on the show on Monday. So if you guys have questions that I should ask them, please let me know. Other than that, um, I don't know where my dog went. I guess she like left the room. I was going to find that, uh, bone of hers, but if she's not in here, that's no fun. So anyway, this is our AMA tonight. And so the plan is, if you guys have any questions for me, you can ask me anything you want and I will answer it to the best of my ability. And then I'm going to make dinner, but this time you're going to come with me and we are going to make a pasta together. I'm going to do a pistachio carbonara with pancetta. Uh, I know that I'm supposed to do guanciale, but we're going to do pancetta and you're going to, you're going to make that with me. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do a little live and then we're going to go make pasta. We're going to be domestic as fuck. So shoot away. It's 9.53. We've got 25 minutes till I start cooking. Thank you. I don't even know where this is from. 
Um, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. It was actually a gift. But I like it. It's cute. I'm glad you like it too. Thank you. It is pasta night. Big fan from the Philippines. Welcome. No, he's not, she's not in here. Dog's not under the pillows. Thank you, Jesse, for the compliment. India, wow. We're just here from all over the world. You know, I haven't traveled in a while. I'd love to go somewhere soon. I feel like it's time. I've been working out. I've been trying to eat healthier. I haven't even really been drinking very much. Like, I still have drinks, but not like crazy. I used to be crazy. <laughs> you should let someone interview me on the show. Who would be, who should I let interview me? I mean, like, I've gone on, like, Tom and Christina's show, and, like, they've interviewed me. But do you think that someone – you're saying, like, someone should interview me um, on, like, first date and find out what it's like to date me? Uh, favorite city to perform in? My favorite city to perform in? London. Without a doubt. My favorite, I can even go, we'll, we'll get really specific. There's a stand-up comedy club. I think it's in Kensington. It's called Backyard Comedy Club. By far the best place to do stand-up. And I say this with all due respect, but the people in London are so easy to entertain. And I mean that with like love, truly. They are... Uh, in, in London, the stand-up is not as good. The jokes are not as strong. The people there don't have, like, crazy competition. It's more, um, it's more like a show. Like, that, like, a guy came out, and he was, like, the headliner, and he had a suitcase, and he had, like, like carrot top style, where he would, like, pull something out, and it was, like, a little water gun. And then when he would, like, spray water out of it, it'd be, like, a silly string thing. Like, there was, um, like, like stuff like that uh, in London. And so when I went, I would say, like, my comedy's good, but I don't think that I'm, like, the best comic out there. Like, I have work to do. And I still like bomb and I still am not, I'm just not, I'm not Tom or Christina, you know, like, I think I'm good. I think I'm a good writer, but in London, I'm a fucking superstar. And so it's a bit, really big ego boost. And like the, the scene there, like is very welcoming and thinks that my jokes are like top notch when in America I'm like mid. <laughs> so I guess. I have to say London is my favorite place because <laughs> I like to be liked. <laughs> Whitney should interview me, but she would roast the shit out of me. Like I love Whitney, but she's also scary. <laughs> she's so intimidating. She's so quick witted. She's so funny that I like just freeze up. And at some point in our conversation, she'll say, well, this is awkward because it's just me laughing. So I don't know how good that show would be. But yeah, hey, I'm all for Whitney interviewing me. How much longer is your contract with YMH? It's through the end of this year. And then they could, uh, we could decide not to do it anymore. It was only a year to begin with, and then it auto-renewed. So uh, hopefully they still really like me, and they still want to keep me, because I like them, and I would say that the show is doing very well. So I uh, foresee the podcast continuing on for a pretty long time. Uh, playing in Dallas. I don't have any shows in Dallas right now. I... Uh, can go there and perform. I don't think it'd be a problem, but I haven't been invited. Kuwait. Wow. That's pretty cool. Thank you for joining my live. My Germany Christmas video was nice. You wish Amazon. Oh yeah. I wish that Amazon would ship some of that stuff too. My dog is back. You guys look at this dog. I'm sorry, but she's going to keep stealing the show. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll go this way. Y'all, she just lays there like that. What do I do? 
What do I do with this dog? What are you doing? You're so far away, I can't even reach you. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Penny, thank you. Would you like to come up here on the bed with us? Would you like to come on the bed with us? <laughs> come here. Come here, Penny. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this dog. Okay. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. I wish that I was like more put together. I would have my place for her. Okay. All right, Penny here. I've made you a spot. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Come to me. Come here. Come here. Come to me. Oh my God. Don't mind my clothes, you guys. It's my biggest flaw. I don't put things away. I also need a real chest of drawers instead of these plastic Ikea things, but I'm never home. What did I miss? I'm sorry I was out of it. Does YMH book my stand-up shows? No, they do not. First date is hilarious. Thank you. I should do a series where I interview a cast from a TV show, like people are friends, people from friends. Oh, yeah. I actually have a um, The Bachelor is coming on, like the last Bachelor is coming on soon. Hello from Romania. My dog does think he's a cat. Give the dog a treat. Ugh. I, this dog has had so many treats. Look at her little fat butt. Like, Penny, she doesn't need treats, trust me. This dog gets so many treats. Thank you for the compliment, Sure made. I've been working on my abs. I feel like we could do crunches here at this point. I do so many of them. Coming to Canada, oh, Toronto would be fun. I've performed in Vancouver before. I had a joke about the six, but I can't remember what it was. Fuck, I wish I knew. Back, it was like probably eight years ago when I did my show in Vancouver. I think I said, isn't Toronto called the six? The six? Because Drake is from there, right? I'm drinking a ranch water. Yeah, so Toronto's called the six, and I was performing in Vancouver. And I had some joke that I made where I was like, um, something about Drake and being from the six and how I like to perform in Vancouver because I felt like it was a 10. Jokes falling flat. I don't remember what it was, but I was proud of that one. Um, I have, have I gained weight with all the easy access to barbecue? You know what's crazy is my favorite kind of a diet is keto. So I would say that if I ate more meat, I'd probably look better. But I like pasta, which is what we're going to make here in a minute. So um, I've been losing weight. I've been working out trying to lose weight. So I don't know. But I always feel fat. So there's that. My girls' night out last week was so fun. I went out with uh, three of my girlfriends, and they're all sisters. Two of them are twins. The other one is the little sister. Um, thank you, Joe. What is Hot Ones? I don't even know what Hot Ones is, Normand. No, Nomad, sorry. I've got Mark Normand, or 
No, yeah, Mark Norman just came on my podcast. When I see Nomad, I just see an R in there and an N. Uh, memes for fun. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> Thanks, Sonu. Thank you guys for the compliments. Ask me some questions, though. I want to answer your questions. What do you want to know? Is there anything that you want to know? I can sit here and take compliments all day, but I want to give you guys some insider information. The time has come, and we only do this one once a month. And in like 10 minutes, I'm going to start cooking dinner. So you better whip up your questions, boys. No, I've never seen hot ones. Now I want to go there. Do I have a least favorite guest? Um, I do. She uh, just came on my show. I feel like whenever the episode comes out, you'll know why I didn't really like her. She was a bitch. I don't even care. Like she came on my show and she had no, like she's a comedian, zero personality on my show. I could tell she didn't want to be there. And she came on and she just started bashing barbecue, which by the way, (laughs) why would you do that? Why would you come on my show and just bash barbecue? Like tell me you don't like me. Don't bash food. Don't bash barbecue. And so she did that like right off the bat. And I was like, okay, you're whack. And then the whole rest of the show, she was, like, talking about how she hated men and, like, was, like, uh, I was, like, dude, you shouldn't be here. So I told the production team to, like, delete half the shit she said. It'll be a short podcast. Um, where's Tim? Who's Tim? Ask Jeff how he feels about trans humor. I'm so, why am I so scared to ask him questions? Like, I'm so terrified. I'm like, am I going to like fuck up? My bucket list vacation spot? Mm, Lately, Japan. I've been hearing a lot about Japan. And I I think I really actually want to go there, which I never would have thought to go there. And before I would have said that it was uh, Marrakesh. But I went there for my birthday last year. So Marrakesh has been marked off. So now I guess Japan. Is there a man in my life? Yes, there is. I have a boyfriend. I've been in a long-term relationship now. And July 4th will be two years. H-E-B is definitely my go-to store. I love H-E-B. Uh, they have everything except cured meats and really, really good Parmesan and Pecorino cheese. <laughs> Outs- outside of those things, I'm a big fan of H-E-B. Um crypto will make me wealthy. Maybe I should buy some. I can't reveal her name. She hasn't even come on yet. I don't want, I don't want her coming for me. (laughs) She was already like hard enough to deal with on the show. You'll know she'll come on and you'll see me like this the whole time. And she talked nonstop. So I only got like three words in because she just like wouldn't shut the fuck up. And she never wanted to talk about dating. She wanted to talk about how she felt about men. And I'm like, okay, I don't like, just tell me about you. Tell me about your life. But she hated it when I asked questions like that. Can you guys tell I like really enjoyed her? You'll know. Nashville. Ooh, I'd love to be in Nashville. That'd be fun. Maybe if I make my screen bigger, I don't have to stick my nose into the camera. Okay, that's better. Hold on. Let me see if I can actually make this even bigger. Guess not. Tom or Bert? Um, You know what, Bert? I actually met Bert for the first time the other day at the Poor Osos event, and he was so nice. Like, before before I met him, I would have – I would have – um. I would have uh, probably said Tom because Tom has supported me so much. But, and I'm not saying that like I picked Tom or Bert. I'm just saying that I had never met Bert and I just met him the other day. And he was so, so nice. 
he was like nothing but compliments and um, it felt real and authentic. I don't think he was just trying to like blow smoke up my ass. So I would have a hard time choosing between them now because I think that they're both really freaking cool. And I like both of their wives. So that like that whole group is just real, truly like feels kind of like family. When am I going to interview Bobby Lee? I hope soon. He was scheduled to be on the show, but then something came up and he wasn't able to come on, which made me kind of sad, but maybe he'll come on soon. I am not auditioning for any TV shows, but that would be fun if I did. Play any musical instruments. I used to play the ukulele. There's a video on YouTube that you can search. It's... um. It's, I think it's called Venmo Me, and it's like a parody video that I did to the tune of Jingle Bells, and I actually play the ukulele in it, and that's the only musical instrument I can even come close to playing. Philippines, I think you're the second person from the Philippines here. That's crazy. What did I want to be when I grow up? Um, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a couple of things. I wanted to be a gymnastics coach. I wanted to be an archaeologist and I wanted to be a chiropractor, but I'm not good at math. So I couldn't pass any of those tests. So I became a comedian. <laughs> like that's so funny to me. I'm like, I guess I'll just be me. Um, What does your writer include when you go on tour? I don't have a writer. What do you mean? I'm just like, pay me. I don't care. I don't need a writer. I need like just, I mean, maybe travel, pay for travel. And then I ask for some ticket, like a percentage of ticket sales. I'm so easy, but I'm not like a green M&Ms and a dozen roses in the room kind of gal yet. Did I go to college? I did. I went to a community college, never got a degree. Do I want kids? Yes, I do. Like, I think I'd be a great mom. Um, seeing that song, oh my God, I'm mortified. I would, I like you guys and I would never sing live for you. Unless I'm being auto-tuned, I won't sing for you. Who's my dream first date person? Paul McCartney. How was it working on Fast and... F you know what? Hold on, wait. Wait, wait. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, so I actually didn't work on the Fast and the Furious. I worked with the director of the Fast and Furious uh, on a different show called Help. So... That's like a miss. That's a typo in Wikipedia. Um, but working with him was really, really cool. I did a project for Google, and it was a 360 project where they had this camera, and it followed me around. You, can, if you have a, if you go on YouTube and you search "Help" by Justin Lin, uh, I'm the star of that short. And if you have it on your phone and you download Google Spotlight Stories, you can also download help which is a movie and you can watch it on your phone and it's all 360 so if you like look up you can like see a helicopter if you look over here you see like a cgi like monster if you look over here you see me running from the monster it's like a really cool experience but that was with the the, the um fast and furious director justin lynn so yeah um let me see what happened with Nadav? You know, I don't know. So right when I was coming into YMH, he left. I think, I think what happened, which is not factual. No one has told me this. This is just what I, what I think happened. I think that Nadav wanted to have a podcast. I think he wanted to have his own show at YMH and um, he didn't get it. And so he went on to do his own thing. I think that's what happened. What are my thoughts on existentialism? Bro, I could barely even pronounce that word. I don't even I don't even know what that I have to like Google that word. 
learning things tonight. Exist, okay. A philosophical theory or approach which emphasizes the existence of the individual person as a free and responsible agent determining their own development through acts of the will. I feel like that, I I mean, so is this a question about like destiny? Like, do I believe that destiny is real or if, I was, I should have skipped over this question. <laughs> this is so intense. I don't know how I feel about that. How I feel about destiny, is that what this is? The free will, it's your soulful purpose and connection to the universe. I mean, I'm terrible at this. Ask someone more intelligent that question. Let's go back to the <laughs> easy questions here. Would I drink bush like beer? No, I don't like beer. <laughs> who who drinks Bud Light in this chat? I feel like we need to know. Ranch water. Yeah, ranch water is tequila, soda water, and lime. If I was going to drink beer, I would still drink a Modelo. That's what I would drink. Am I not cool because I said that? Because it's like owned by Bush. Modelo is so good. All right. Any last questions or shall we cook dinner? <laughs> That's what I heard. Have cheetah. No, Dana, you will not. No, Mark, I am not. All right, let's cook. So for dinner, we are going to do an Instagram pasta. Do you ever scroll and you see like a really good recipe and you're like, hmm, that looks really good. I do that all day long. So I found this recipe and it is called, hold on, let me find it. I'm going into my saved videos. It's a pistachio pasta. Let me see. Here we go. I'm finding it on my Instagram because that's where the recipe is. Also, I need Wi-Fi. Okay, here it is. It's a pistachio carbonara. Okay, let's do it. Let me get my ranch water. I don't think Donald Trump would come on my show. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to figure out where the best place for y'all is. I think it's here. Okay. Um, I 
I guess we're gonna do rigatoni. I guess we're gonna make this pasta with a rigatoni shell. Let's go ahead and get the water heating up. Okay, so while the water gets hot, I'm gonna need pepper and pistachio. pistachios and then we need pecorino cheese and eggs just filling up my bowl here for pasta. Oh, I have a KitchenAid. I use it all the time, but I'm gonna be like use store-bought pasta. Don't tell anyone I'm cheating. Who's my favorite comedian? Hmm. I don't know. I really do like Whitney Cummings. This is a really cool uh, way to do pasta. So this has all these holes in it and you put it inside the pot. It's Cause usually when you cook, you want pasta water. So you can pull that out and then you can put it inside of the sauce. It makes it better. Turn on some lights in this bitch. Hold on, let me get my slippers. I'm back. Okay, so I got this really cool little thing that like grates cheese. And we got our pecorino cheese here. Alexa, off. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing. This thing grates cheese so well. I need more. Australia, what's up? Did I turn your Alexa off? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Okay. 
I just didn't want to play music and then get in trouble on YouTube because it picks up sounds so easily. I don't know how much cheese I'm going to need, but I like a lot of it. <laughs> Look how much this is. Okay. Oh, my heart's tired. Now, we've got the pecorino cheese. And then, we've got our pasta. Rigatoni shells look like this. We have our pistachios. I think we need 150 grams of pistachios. So, there. I'm trying to like see you guys. All right. Intermission. Okay. We're going to get our scale. Our grinder. Okay. So we need a hundred and fifty grams. Okay, that was the whole package. Good thing I got a new package. Okay, and then this is gonna be really annoying. I have to grind them up. It's gonna be loud. You might wanna mute your computer here for a moment. Ready? And then, where'd my little, oh wow, there's so many. So fun fact, when you're making pasta and you start boiling the water, you are supposed to put salt in it, but wait until the water boils before you put salt in it. Because if you put salt in it before it boils, uh, it'll take so much longer to get hot. The salt reduces the speed of the heat. So let your water come to a boil and then add salt. Fun fact. Um, this is going to be a lot of pistachios. Okay. Sorry, it's going to be loud again.
we got 150 grams of pistachios here. I actually feel like that's too much. I'm going to reweigh this. There's no way that's 150 grams. But this looks like more like 200. Not that anyone used to be a drug dealer. <laughs> We're at 130, 140. See, I knew it. Okay, that's 150. We'll save the rest of this for topping. All right, now we need six to seven egg yolks. Does that even matter? I don't think it does. One. Two. Here, let's so you can guys can see. I'm just cracking these and throwing the yolks away in the All right, so this is um, this is what you call a domestic lifestyle. <laughs> There's six. It says six or seven. Do I? I guess I'll just do seven. Why not? The more the merrier, right? We're going extra on the tip. Extra on the pistachios, so why not go extra on the egg? More is more, right? Okay. So, so far, we've got everything we need. We've got our cheese, we've got our eggs, we've got our pistachios, we have our black cracked pepper, we've got our pasta. I guess we need our pancetta. So 
so I went to the cured meat section and I got three different things of this. Looks like this. It's like just really thick bacon. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to dice it so you can pull it apart. And it looks like that. So it's actually like bacon-ish. I'm going to cut it up. I feel very Britney Spears right now. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want you guys to see this. My hands are all dirty. Let me move some things out of the way here. I'll bring you guys closer. This is my first time trying this dish. I have never made this before, so this is a brand new experience for all of us. Toilet paper orientation preference? What do you mean? Are you Charmin? Extra soft. Oh, I cook hardcore. I'm all about it. All right. Pour the rest of my little cocktail in here. All right, here we go. I need sharper knives. These knives suck. I can hear my water starting to boil. That's nice. Here we go. I think this is actually going to be enough. I'm going to cut these in half. Sorry. I don't, I want to show you guys the whole situation here. I need another bowl, that's what I mean. So the little pieces look, how come I can't show you this? Oh, 
They're tiny. They look like that. And then we have to cook these and make them like really crispy. And then I think there's something that we have to do with the pistachios, make it kind of like a paste, but I don't think that's hard to do either. I think this is a relatively easy dish. As soon as I get done cutting all this, it's just time consuming. Sorry, I can't look at you guys. I don't wanna cut one of my fingers off. Some of these pieces are just really big. I'm almost done here. doing it. Water is boiling. We're going to turn it off for now because it boiled faster than I expected. So I need to look at my phone really quick and just check out this recipe. But I think we're almost there. This is getting hot. Okay, this is interesting. Take the pistachio paste. So six egg yolks, pepper. This is like so fast. You know, that's one problem with these like Instagram recipes is they just do it so fast that I'm like, I've missed most of that. Okay, so I'm supposed to get a bowl. Hold on. This is boiling too fast. Pistachios, and then I guess you put egg yolks and pepper. Okay, whatever. We've got our egg yolks. We're gonna crack some pepper in it.
This is a grease splatter. If you don't have one, get one. Because anytime that you cook on your skillet, when grease splatters, this guards it so grease doesn't go everywhere. It's great. It's going to whisk together my egg yolks. And then I guess I need some pepper. better camera work for you guys. Sorry I'm not a pro at this. We'll get better at the cooking situation. Smells really good. <clears throat> I'm going to add some Maldon sea salt to my egg. Didn't say to do that, but oh, uh, thank you, Michael. That's so nice of you. Okay, and then I'm supposed to add the pistachio paste. I guess you put some. I don't. I guess I don't even know. Who it is a paste. It was just like pistachio. I need to watch this video again. She did a terrible job of telling me what to do. You guys can watch this with me. This is the best pistachio carbonara that I've ever made in my entire life because it's delicious. This carbonara is amazing. First, we'll make the pistachio paste in a powerful food processor. We'll boil the pasta, whisk six egg yolks with pepper, add the pistachio paste and add the pecorino cheese. Then mix again. And now, see, hold on. Hmm. See, I'm burning my... Um, wow, I would probably say I like podcasting more than stand-up. We're going to remove that from the heat. Looks good, though. Okay, so now I guess I add the pistachio to this. Oh, wow. So I guess that's how you make the paste. Makes sense. so thick. I guess that's why it's called a paste. Look how thick this is. I just added the pistachios. Um, okay, so before I don't like, I'm going to turn this over here.
I don't like extra grease. So the grease is going to fall in a little container here. Pretty good. That's how that looks. All of that bacon kind of got real crispy and nice. I guess I'll just lay that right there. Okay. Next. Intermission. I am making a pistachio carbonara. I'm just going to do most of it here. Um, it's a little thicker than hers. looks thick. I think I'm going to add some olive oil. Now we're improvising. Okay, I guess that's how you do it. And then add pecorino cheese, then mix again. Now you can add a bit of the cooking water. Put the guanciale in a pan, turn off the heat, and add the pasta. Oh, I guess you add pasta water. That makes sense. Wild. So, once your pasta water is boiling, you can add salt. We've got a lot of sauce here. Kind of looks like cookie dough.
So all this is is pistachio and a little bit of cream and egg yolk and pepper. You got this. I guess I'll get my sautier ready to go. All time favorite pan right here. What are you guys listening to? Are y'all listening to music? Fuck yeah, Grand. See you on Patreon. Thank you guys for the compliments. My plants are doing well. I've got so many roses out there that are just busting a bloom. Pink Floyd is nice. Justin Timberlake poison. Wow, you guys are rocking out. I love that. Okay, Michael, thank you for the tip. Can you hire me for a photo shoot one hour? Fully clothed. That's new. You can bring anyone you'd like for security. <laughs> hmm. Cool request. Thank you. I'll have to check it out first. I'm going to add the cheese and the pasta after I add the sauce. My nails are so short and I still get food underneath them. It's so gross. Okay. We are to a boil. We are going to add this pasta. time for this is 12 minutes. All right. So we wait for 12 minutes and then we put the pasta in that with the meat and we stir it around and then we add this paste and then we add the cheese and then I guess that's how you do it. Let's see. I'm going to watch this video one more time. Now is ready to enjoy. I think this is the best pistachio carbonara that I've ever made in my entire life because it's delicious. This carbonara is amazing. First, we'll make the pistachio paste in a powerful food processor. We'll boil the pasta, whisk six egg yolks with pepper, add the pistachio paste and add the pecorino cheese, then mix again. And now you can add a bit of the cooking water. Cook the guanciale in a pan, turn off the heat and add the pasta. Pour the sauce over the pasta. Okay, we gotta add cooking water.
does loosen it up a bit, I guess. Okay. Yeah. That makes it way better. I need my whisk. We're bringing the whisk back. It's a lot of sauce, though. I can't really show you because it will spill out, actually. It got, like, really creamy. Hold on. So we've got a pistachio carbonara going on here. I'm here for it. Can you guys tell I've been working out? Do I have abs? <laughs> Oh my God, Benji, that's hilarious. Thank you for the tip. It's pretty smoky in here. I have back muscles. Oh my goodness. Is that a muscle or bone? Am I fit? Am I fit as fuck? Yeet, yeet. <laughs> Betty, for real. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to eat. Are you guys eating? Are y'all drinking? What are y'all doing? It's Saturday night. It's Saturday night and we're home on a live. What are we doing? I'm wearing sweats. You can't see my boots. That's all the boots you get. Tequila does do a body good. Is tax refund tricking? I don't know, but thank you for the tip. Hell yeah, Benji. Orange. Fresh zero sugar. Is that good? I feel like I should try that. We got six more minutes until my pasta is ready, you guys. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a better situation for you. Don't move. I got my little laptop thing. I'm gonna put it here so you can see what I'm doing over my shoulder. And all my years in Hollywood taught me anything. It was how to set up a camera. 
I don't think I set it up right. You know, just just my style. Brag about something and I'm like, oh, I got this. And then like, lo and behold, I don't got this. I think I did it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it works. How's it feel to be eye level with me? Okay, so hopefully now you can kind of see what I've got going on here. What I've got going on. Let me show you my pasta. <laughs> Someone's been doing bicep curls. Okay. I am a little, Joe. How'd you know? Of course, Drew, anytime. I've been drinking ranch water, which is just tequila water with lime. Rachel Ray could definitely teach me a few things though. I know that. Two minutes and 48 seconds until this is ready. Pecorino cheese. This is our pancetta. Can you guys see that? So I have to put the pasta in the pancetta, stir it around, and then add the paste and the cheese, and then I'm done. Um, my living room is pretty boring. That's my living room. I don't need any wine. I think this is it for me. This and pasta. Vodka and ginger ale. That's a good go-to drink. Air One, oh my God. Uh, I haven't been to Air One in so long. I love Air One. You know what I like at Air One, for those of you who've never been to Air One? And Air One is a grocery store, which I think is only in California. And it's a place where you go if you want to empty out your savings account. And they have a hot food bar that is immaculate. And they've got this buffalo cauliflower. And I'm, trust me, I've got meat in this pan. I'm not plant-based, but their buffalo cauliflower, all day long, I will eat, just eat down it. They also have really good cookies in the checkout aisle. It comes in a plastic bag with a little sticker on it. Never, And they're vegan. Also fucking off the charts. Wildly good. Ooh. Uh, like $25 probably for a cookie. It's outrageous, but it's good. 12 seconds. Oh my gosh. If you could ship me some buffalo cauliflower and a cookie, Benji, 
BFFs for life, me and you. Okay, let me make sure that this pasta's done. going to be way easier. Okay. I wish I could show you guys this. I don't know how to do it though. All right. So next. The sauce. Oh, wow. It looks really good. Maybe this girl was on to something. Can you guys see that? I want you to see it. Okay, we did it. We did it, homies. We made dinner. All right, I'm gonna eat. Thank you guys for tuning in to this hour and a half live. We're gonna go live again tomorrow night and we're gonna talk about Jim Norton coming on my podcast and we're gonna figure out some questions to ask him. I love you guys. Yes, I do respond on heavyweight champions. Um, oh my God, I'm so stoked. So Benji, since you joined my heavyweight champions on Patreon, if you send me a message and you give me your Instagram handle, I'll follow you on Instagram. And then we can chat in the DMs. That's how that works. And I will also add you to my close friends' stories so you can see exclusive story posts. Thank you for joining. Um, also, Joe, thank you for the tip as well. Everyone who joined me tonight, I really appreciate it. I'm going to eat this while it's hot. You guys are hot. Thanks for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow. Shabbat, thank you for being my band hammer as always. I will. Uh, okay, I'll try a bite. Oh, it's too thick. I hope it's not too hot. Oh my God. Should I? Mm. Wow. Should I post this on my Patreon? Do you guys want to know what this recipe was? Oh my goodness. This is so good. Wow. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. I'll post this on Patreon. It was so easy to do. And it was so good. Oh my God, I can't wait to devour it. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to tune in. I'll post the link on Patreon. We're gonna talk about Jim Norton and find some questions. Bye, I love you all, bye.